Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to grammar class. Well, today we are going to learn another tense of grammar. Well, today we're gonna learn the present perfect. So, hope you enjoy, and please give me a like. Then we're gonna learn now. So let's start. Let's go through the main points first. The main points have form, uses, and time expressions. First, we're going to do the affirmative form. The affirmative form has subject plus have or has plus has participle and plus object. For example, they have written a report. Well, but do you know what is past participle? The past participle is V3. And there are two types of V3. First, it's V0 plus ED or irregular verb. So this written is an irregular verb. But do you know how to use have or has? You think, hmm, it's a bit hard. But for me, it's really easy. So, I will show you how. So, let's do the conjugate the past perfect. Present perfect, not past perfect. Whoopsie. Well, he, she, and it, and I, you, we, they, in the I, you, we, they box goes with have, and the he, she, it goes with has. Next to the negative form, with the negative form has subject plus have or has plus not plus past participle plus object. For example, Rose has not done her work. And I have or have with plus not, we can change to hasn't or haven't. Okay? There, she's having to learn her work. The last one is the interrogative form. Well, the interrogative form has have or has plus subject plus past participle plus object and don't forget the question mark. Therefore, have you gone to New York? I don't think I have gone to New York yet. Well, let's move on to the users. Well, here's the uses. There's the present perfect tense. Well, the uses are finished actions, recent complete actions, unfinished actions, multiple actions at different times, life experiments, experience, accomplishments, and change changes over time. With the finished actions like past events or present results, she has lost her wallet, but she cannot find it. So that is the past event and the present result that she cannot find it. And next with the pre recent completed actions, I have just finished my project that he just finished his project he well she's writing and she's playing and her mom his mom said have you finished your project and he said i have just finished my project so he finished before for unfinished actions duration from the past into now I have lived in Paris for five years. 
For, for example, like he has lived in Paris, but he is still living at Paris for five years now. For, and multiple actions at different times. For example, I have seen David several times now, or four times, twice, once. I will show that in the time expressions. Life experience. Samba, have you eaten sushi before? I never eaten sushi, but I have eaten kimbap. It's really good. And now, accomplishments. Man has walked on the moon. Wow, that he's has walked on the moon before. But it changes all the time. I have become more interested in medical issues. But it changes all the time is that she, he don't like it at the first, but after he likes it. Now let's go to the time expressions. The time expressions are here. Ever or never that I have never been to the cinema before. Since or for. Since and for describes the time. When it's on cannot count like one one year or two years is used for four. And when you send since Christmas, not one Christmas, two Christmas, three Christmas. No no no. We use since Christmas. Okay? Don't mess up with that. Or just and recently. Up to now, so far. Yet, not yet, already. It's in the present perfect. Well, as you tell, I tell you, once, twice, four times, several times, or many times. Then I tell you that it's multiple times at different actions, at different places. So, that's all today and hope you guys enjoy and thank you for watching.